Art Label is a new tool by Hotdoor, the developers of CAD tools. So Art Label is a pretty neat new tool. What it allows you to do is pull out attributes of art in a label, just like it says, it's a label for art. So very simply, I just hover over the art here that I'm interested in and pull out a label. And in this case, the only thing I have showing right now is the fill color. So that shows me the fill color in CMYK mode. Now fill color is nice and all, but there's a lot more. So I'm gonna double click it. And you can see, first of all, we can change the appearance. Of course, you can set any color you like, font, size. You can add a border to the label. Thickness for the border. You also have a really neat show info on rollover. So let me show you how that works. First, I'll delete this one. And now you'll see as I roll over the art, it actually tells me what's actually gonna get pulled out. So I'm gonna click and drag. And that's the same information as before, except now it has that border that we specified as well as the, the color information. So let's go do this again. I'm gonna change the thickness to one point now. And then I'm going to go into show you what kind of other information is available. In our general section, you can display artboard names and layers, graphic styles and symbols. So I'm just gonna choose the artboard name and the layer. You can pull out stroke information. For both stroke and fill, you can do color values. Now, there are many different color values, uh, of course, CMYK and RGB, but you can also do HSB and lab as well as RGB hex if you're, for instance, doing wireframes for web pages. Or you can pull out the color in the current document color mode. You can also pull out swatch names. Now there are a lot of settings on here and if, if these things don't apply, they won't show up in the label. So for instance, if you're pulling a label off of a filled object with no stroke, none of this stroke information will show up. So it's not like selecting these things is gonna clutter up your label. You could also show the weight of the stroke. All of this stuff, the dash pattern, the brush names, overprint, a lot of information. Fill, we have the color value. Uh, swatch name, overprint pattern names if there are patterns on here, gradients, um, gradient aspect ratios, all, all of the stuff to do with gradients. And then in transparency, you can choose type and opacity. This is really nice when you're trying to spec artwork that perhaps you're giving to a printer. It's really nice for them to have a proof and say, you know, this particular, this is a overprint transparency or this is a 25% opacity, whatever. It lets people better understand how you created that in color. And of course, type as well. We have the usual suspects here, font, family, style, size, letting, kerning, tracking. There's a lot here and we, for the most part, covered all of the art attributes that are available inside of Illustrator. So I've set these settings. Let's just pull that label off the X right over here so we can see everything. So again, we have the uh, layer name and artboard name. The fill color, this was a spot color, the ANPA color. And it, we also chose to show the actual fill value or the fill value, so it's in CMYK as well. This is really handy to have. It, it works with all of the um, color books that you can use in Illustrator, Pantone and things like that. It will show you the equivalent CMYK or RGB or RGB hex value. We have a screen opet transparency with a 36% opacity. And then of course we have the font family style and size here for this X that's in the middle. So again, you don't, you don't have to drag this out. You can just hover over everything and, and see information attributes if you like, giving you control and telling you everything that's happening inside of Illustrator.